Introducing Firth's new adjustable headset. I'll showcase the new headset by changing both the headset and the stem. Three and a half years in, the bolts are starting to rust, and rather than just replace the bolts, I'll replace the whole stem. The 5mm spacer also needs replacing, although, as you'll see, the new headset allows me to do away with it altogether. Off with the brake cable and end cap, so I can free the cable which will allow fork removal. A 5mm Allen wrench to loosen the compression bolt and remove the top cap. Off with the old spacer. Normally I'd grab a new one from the box to replace it, but I won't need it with the new headset. I'll pull the fork down a centimetre or two which pushes the headset against the head tube, moving it up the steerer. Shifting the fork back up into the head tube, the headset is now clear of the top of the head tube, making it easier to slide up the steerer. That's the lower and upper seal bearings removed, along with the compression ring and seal. I'll clean grease and dirt from the top and bottom bearing seats, then apply a light coat of fresh grease. We're ready to install the new headset, so let's have a quick look at it. The seal's bird lower edge enables a firm grip on it since you rotate it in order to move the internal sleeve up and out. The sealed bearings are standard to fit top and bottom. And all prizes the old crown race free of its seat. I'll begin the new adjustable headset installation with the new crown race. The fork goes into position with the new top bearing compression ring and all important seal. The rubber gasket just inside the top of the seal grips the steerer, preventing the fork from dropping. On with the new stem. Removing the faceplate. Greasing the bolts and securing the handlebars back in position. I'll create a 5mm spacer where a standard spacer would normally go. I won't need one since I can fill the space by rotating the seals out of case. That's about 5mm. It will extend to a maximum of 7mm. The top cap and compression bolt snugs the whole assembly together. Aligning the stem with the front wheel. Finishing off, tightening the stem bolts with the torque wrench. With brake cable and clamp secured, the cable cap is the last piece to go into place. So that's a new stem with its fresh bolts and most importantly the new adjustable headset. Give the video a like if you found it useful and also hit that subscribe button and bell notification while you're at it. 
Thanks for watching.